A panel formed to clean up Illinois government meets for the first time. The Illinois Reform Commission asked for public input today as it begins examining the state government's ethics and practices. Good evening, I'm Ron Majors. And I'm Sylvia Perez in for Cheryl Burton this evening. The commission will make recommendations for reforming state government. Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn set up that panel, whose members include an elected official from Cook County, a former federal prosecutor, and a major college football coach. ABC 7's Paul Mikey joins us with more. Well, there are many public watchdog groups in Illinois that over the years have worked tirelessly to make government more responsive and responsible. And yet the number of public officials who've gone to jail in the last two decades argues that corruption in government still flourishes. Now comes another group with a mission as daunting as its title and members remarkably diverse from a neurosurgeon to a Big Ten football coach. There is a college president, a state's attorney, a hospital exec who wore a wire in an extortion probe, and a father who lost six children as a tangible consequence of public corruption. I'm from out of state, and I'm an, I was asked to serve. I wanted to say that I wasn't really knowledgeable and I wasn't available, but I realize that that's one of the possible contributing factors to the problem of why we're gathered here and because it is about getting involved. They are 15 people from various walks of life who are now the Illinois Reform Commission, set up by an executive order from the Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn and headed by the former federal prosecutor who put George Ryan behind bars. I hope when our report is done that people even who, who disagree with us will say this is a thoughtful, it's responsible, it's thought-provoking, and it's bold. They have set themselves a tight timetable, 100 days to look at what's broken in state government and make recommendations on how to fix it. First of all, good luck. Steve Rauschenberger knows Springfield. He's a former state senator who told the panel today that too few people have too much power and too many people are content with the status quo. State governments, very similar to ours, work in other states. The, the level of corruption in the state of Illinois is unprecedented and unmatched. Uh, so don't Several commission members said today that the state has been embarrassed by current scandal, but that their mission goes far deeper than the case against Rod Blagojevich and a state government that has been dysfunctional. Previous ethics reforms, commission members were told, have failed. And while their recommendations 100 days ahead may be sweeping, they will certainly focus on campaign finance reform. Forty-six states have limits on the size of political contributions. Illinois is not among them. Every legislative session that adjourns without the enactment of sweeping and forcible reforms lends further credence to the cynical proposition that government does not operate on the square. On this, its inaugural meeting, the commission heard first from a couple elected officials and then others this afternoon, but its intent is to invite comment from all walks of life through upcoming hearings and through its website, reformillinoisnow.org. Whatever its ultimate recommendations, no one can guarantee they'll change anything, but the makeup of this committee is quite remarkable, and its leader, former uh, prosecutor Patrick Collins, is known for getting results. Yes, he is. Thanks, Thanks Paul. Paul.